what's up guys, she here obviously back with another video. We are going to be doing a video on The Walking Dead Comic Con trailer season 4 has just came out. Now in this video it will contain spoilers on the trailer and uh, it will be a review and a breakdown of the trailer. First, uh, overall trailer was amazing. Um, key parts in there which I would like to go over and I will do that right now. So, in the beginning we see Daryl with his new uh, hairstyle and his new crossbow with the jacket banging on a window of the big spot location. Um, he, he, it looks like a kid is there um, with blonde hair um, right next to him and uh, it, it zooms up to the big spot location. Um, then a, the walker comes in the window, uh, and then they enter the big spot location, uh, and it looks like we see Daryl, that kid, Glenn, uh, Sasha, Tyrese, um, all in, uh, different clothing that we saw them before. Uh, uh, military gear, maybe there was some ammo, guns, stuff like that, where we see the military. Um, we see Michonne also. Uh, they're searching the big spot location, and, uh, they carts, and, uh, it says toys and games, and stuff like that. Um... It doesn't look like there's a lot of walkers in this location. Um, then it zooms up to uh, Lawrence Gillard Jr., Bob Stuckey. And that's the picture we saw of Lawrence Gillard Jr., uh, which I did a, uh, a video on. Uh, he has a, a M4 rifle, and he's looking pretty good. Um, um, he hears screams, and I, I believe that these screams might be that kid who may be from Woodbury. Um, then we see Daryl and Carol uh, talking, and we see the uh, a, a zoom in to the prison. Um, it looks uh, we see Karen uh, and some other Woodbury survivors in this area um, against uh, the tower and we see many many walkers maybe uh, four dozen walkers against the fence and we and Michonne is riding in a horse um, just to say that uh, of the new pictures we saw on um, the promotional pictures um, Michonne in the horse uh, it looks like she will fight walkers and they will have a group of people fighting walkers uh, next we see Rick and his group and uh, um, they built a system for the fence uh, which is very good so there has to be at least a three month time skip because that would take a lot of effort uh, they open up the the um, gates that were built and Michonne enters in um, she I, I believe she she may be searching for the governor as she keeps looking for him. Um, then we hear screams, and Maggie is on watch, but we see probably um, will be a very good uh, scene as uh, uh, looks like a lot of Woodbury survivors died. Um, it uh, also, a uh, thing to go on uh, Carl and Rick are actually looks like they're feeding pigs. And, um, and they have a fencing. Maybe they have a some kind of farm that Herschel made. Uh, it looks like that this man has a uh, shotgun. That may be Herschel's shotgun. 
and there it looks like a lot of walkers is breaking in and killing lots of Woodbury survivors. Uh, Daryl mostly taking charge in this with Glenn and um, uh, and Carol. Uh, we see a little boy. Um, lots of people are dying uh, of walkers, and uh, it looks like we see Maggie also. Um, and I do like this, how Carol and Glenn and um, Maggie are getting bigger roles in the fighting uh, district. Um, uh, Maggie is holding uh, maybe an injured Michonne. Maybe she falls off her horse trying to find the governor. Um, also, uh, if you just keep it zoned in and you pause it at 117 we do see Herschel walking without his crutches and it looks like um, this may be the aftermath of the um, the breaking the, the break break in of the walkers uh, as we see there's only uh, about six five people um, there may have been 20 people there and they may all have died. 15 people may have died. Um, we see Rick talking to Tyrese. And Rick enters where, uh, where the prison is. And Daryl, it looks like it could be an infirmary. Um, which would be pretty awesome to see. As we see curtains with a little bit of blood on them. And another thing from the comic book, we see a library. And uh, it looks like this is where they'll have their meetings of the leaders. Uh, Sasha, Daryl, Carol, Herschel, uh, Rick, Glenn, Maggie. Um, also, um, you can't really see the person. Um, but it does look like a blonde haired woman carrying a, a bag out. Uh, that could be Beth. She could have a bigger role this season. Um, we see um, Rick holding up a cross uh, medal. Um, it, this may be Lori's or it may have been uh, one of the Woodbury survivors. Or it could have been um, something that he found on the ground that seemed like a scene that it could have touched them up. Um, then, then we see Tyrese, and it looks like he is in a, a prison jumpsuit. Wow. Um, and he's wearing his bean. Um, his eye is swollen. And we do see Rick and his hand, like the, the pictures, his hand is covered with bandages. Um, that may become because of the uh, um, how Tyrese punches him, and he may beat him um, up. So uh, to defend Dar defend Daryl. Uh, after the scene, we see uh, Rick go near a door, and this is may where it may become a uh, where the scene of the Green Twins that died in the comic book um, th that may come in this uh, in this storyline. Next we see uh, Rick with um, a, a hanging deer um, and there's dead deers and um, animals there. Uh, also we see uh, the three people that I would love to see as a scouting group, Daryl Michonne and Lawrence Gillard Jr.'s Bob Stuckey. Um, uh, these all three are probably fighters, as we don't know Lawrence, uh, Bob Stuckey yet. Um, then we have a closer look, and it see, and I see that Michonne, Daryl, and and it looks like that kid are near the army, the military babes, near. Uh, near the big spot location. Uh, we see Karen or Rowan, some woman talking to Tyrese and uh, two other Woodbury survivors in the background. 
uh, Tyrese is seen looking into a uh, campsite of which it would be the military um, the military base uh, at the big spot location um, holding a shotgun. This is may this is where they may find uh, weapons, uh, um, armory, something like that, uh, grenades, stuff like that. Um, next, we see Lawrence Gillard Jr. talking. Um, and another thing, uh, Carol is the teacher for the um, prison. Uh, the kids, um, he she's teaching them how to use knives. And coming up, a blonde-headed um, girl actually is using the knife, and it looks like she is going to stab her in the leg, Carol. Um, this may become something of Rick is flashback to the second season. we got to use our knives more, and it may come in handy with Carol that she, her survival skills are come, and she might have to kill this this girl. Um, she, we do see her putting her hands up, Carol, and it looks like she is in shock. Maybe she killed the girl. We see Maggie, and this is the big thing. This could be the Beth. Uh, Beth may have died, and um, it looks like she's getting emotional. Um, this may be when Rick opens the door, and it looks like that same door, um, Carl also looks a lot older and looks really emotional. This may be um, a Beth who was really close to him. Now, another speculation, I hope this doesn't happen, but uh, Bob Stuckey is seen holding blood in his hand, um, having blood sh uh, all over his hand. Um, this may, he may be with the governor's group and come with um, the, the prison group, and they may bring him in and then kill and set up and tell the governor how to uh, how to their weak spots and how they should have walkers come in and kill some of their people. Um, we see Tyrese, and it once again Beth. Uh, I'm still with her all the way with this death. There's blood stains um, all into this door where we do see Maggie and Rick in the trailer. Um, it seems Sasha is crying. Maybe she is in a relation. Um, she may become uh, very emotional with Lawrence Gillard Jr. Have a relationship with her, him. Then we see Tyrese come in, and he does look very, 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 very ugh, psyched, and um. This is where he he looks at these this gas. Um, it could have been someone burnt a walker and it looks bad, or it may be Beth, which once again I don't like this storyline if they do it. Uh, Carol and uh, a girl, the blonde-headed girl who is going to stab Car um, Carol in before in the scene is there. We do see Rick, and it looks like they had chopped some wood, and um, it looks like they have their horses there. Uh, and Tyrese once again is looking down at this thing and doesn't see what is very hot rift. Um, by this thing subject. Um, then we see people running, and this may be the scene where um, walkers are breaking in from the fences. And we do see Sasha does um, come out that there's rats there, and um, that may be the governor and Lawrence Gillard, uh, Bob Stuckey, who uh, maybe have made a plan. Uh, so, 
mo mostly that storyline might come in, and that's how the governor might come into this, the um, to to the story. Uh, well, um, it looks like we see Tyree, Sasha, Rick, and Daryl, and they may be the people holding up the prison. Uh. Yes, and uh, she points out the rats, and then we see this car, and that looks like the place where um, they were in Clear, uh, episode, season 3, episode 12, uh, Morgan's place, and that's May, that's May where they get a car. Um, we see them digging graves, and this may be uh, the Woodbury survivors, or Beth. Um, anybody. Uh, it looks, it looks like a lot of the, um, a lot of the, uh, the Woodbury survivors are getting taught, um, how they kill walkers and stuff. Um, we do see horses, uh, Glenn is, uh, forcing the fence back of walkers. Um, once again we see Rick and uh, Tyrese's tension. Um, we see three cars go by, maybe, uh, that's where they, when they go to the big spot, um, we see Daryl, um, and two other cars, Shane's car, and, uh, Glenn's truck. Uh, now, another thing, which may come, uh, Robert Kirkman might do this, but, um, right now, uh, Michonne's storyline may, is going to be, uh, um, how she's looking for the governor and she's looking on the map and she's looking at safe places and we do know if you do uh seen Macon um it is a safe place there's a lot of spots that where you could hide there and she points there and this also may be something from that game from based on the comic book uh, a lot of people have uh that us uh, rumor uh, now we see Rick and it looks like he's gonna have a day off and stop uh, just take care of Judith and he has um, his uh, room and it looks like he does have some food and uh, a crib actual crib um, once again we see that car and uh, which looks like it's from uh, that episode clear. Um, oh, oh, 302. Uh, we do know now that probably Herschel will have a peg leg like uh, Dale in the comic book. So Carl is with Herschel and they see a walker next to uh, a tree. And now a lot of speculation that this is Jim. This is Lori. This, I do not think it is either a, a one of them. As you remember, if you do remember, in season one, Jim was near a road when he fell down on that tree and he was dead. And I don't think, I don't think Jim would just stay there. He would get up, look for food, and he wouldn't just decay on a tree. This may be another walker that was uh, helped by the governor, maybe one of the governor's people, and they fell and died on a tree. Um, now, this is going to be a good scene, and I know um, this is going to be really good, and I hope this is in the premiere. We see Lawrence Gillard Jr., uh, Bob Stuckey, Michonne, Daryl, and Tyrese, and lots of walkers are breaking in into the car. Uh, Daryl instantly gets out and he shoots his crossbow, and Michonne is um, helping with the sword. As we see uh, Lawrence Gillard Jr.'s character, uh, Bob. Bob Stuckey, um, he has a revolver or some kind of pistol. Um, now we see Tyrese, and Tyrese looks like he's injured, and this may come in uh, how he gets hurt by uh, Rick. And then 
this may be, as they say, they're bringing in the comic books more. And this may be the scene where the gym comes in, in into place. Um, uh, where he escapes 30 walkers and they have to leave. Um, uh, he is trying to get all these walkers. I probably think Tyree, uh, or uh, Lawrence Gillard Jr.'s Bob Stuckey will come into play. 